All right, all right, all right. Hey, YouTube, I'm Lucky, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the loot and specifically the weaponry in Trials of Osiris, how I feel like there's a shortage of weapons. I mean, it feels like we're farming for the same weapons over and over again. Trials population upon initial revamp was huge. We had over 700, around 750,000 players, and week by week, we see this slowly dwindle down more and more. Now, obviously, this was expected to a certain extent, However, I do feel like Bungie could easily remedy the situation by providing a little more weaponry, okay? Right now, as I've seen it and everything that I've looked at, we have six uh, adept weapons that we can go for. You've got the Messenger, the Eye of Soul, Shire's Wrath, Solus Scar, which is this week at the time of making this video, the Igneous Hammer, and the Reed's Regret. So you have six weapons that you can get from the Lighthouse. These are specific to each week. However, it's been like a six-month-long season. And not to mention, you can get these weapons regularly without having to go to the lighthouse. So how often can you possibly get excited for the messenger to be available during trials, right? That's the question I want to pose to you out there, to anyone out there watching this. Are you still excited for any of the loot in Trials of Osiris? Have you acquired it all? I know there's probably some players out there who maybe aren't especially good at PvP and maybe they struggle to get some of these weapons. I hope that the Trials revamp has given you at least some avenue to, if you can't get the Adept, weapon the adept version of these weapons you can at least get the regular version which is still very good okay like the regular version of the messenger is still a very good role and a very good weapon inside pvp let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section below but i feel like six weapons is just not enough especially when we look at the entire pool that we have to work from i mean i would love some new weapons don't get me wrong i'm not trying to just take everything from d1 and copy and paste it over to d2 but in the meantime while we're sitting around waiting you know what i'm saying and while we're Trial seems to be on like a once annual uh, loot refresh. I feel like we've got to sprinkle some of these old weapons in here. And there are so many to sprinkle in here. When you actually look at all the weapons that Bungie developed in D1, it's crazy to think about. In year one, a lot of these names are going to sound familiar, which is funny. In year one of Trials of Osiris in Destiny 1, for the Adept versions, we had the Summoner Adept, the Scholar Adept, the Messenger Adept, and the Jewel of Osiris Adept. Sounds pretty familiar, right? Except for the Jewel. I wish the Jewel was here. Imagine a 140 RPM hand cannon available from Trials. Now that would be crazy. Everyone would be going for that right now. If that were to just randomly be brought into the game, just that one weapon alone, that would drive everyone nuts. The Trials population would triple overnight, right? If there was a 140 RPM available from the Lighthouse, an Adept Jewel of Osiris. Just as simple as that, I think would change the game significantly. Um, again, though, I'm not trying to say, you know, bring a ton more hand cannons. There's a lot of really cool weapons that were brought back. That's the Jewel of Osiris right there. If you hadn't used that in Destiny 1. In year two of Trials of Osiris in D1, we had the Doctrine of Passing. Does anyone remember this thing? This thing was a real bullet hose. It would be sick to have this back in Destiny 2. I believe it would be probably like a 720 RPM auto rifle. We had the Water Star, another hand cannon. We had the Reflection Sum pulse rifle. And we had the Inward Lamp Scout Rifle, okay? I've got pictures of all these here. Look at that doctrine. Anyone remember this thing? Oh, that thing was crazy. And we've got the Water Star here. We've got the Reflection Sum Pulse Rifle. Not nearly as cool as the Messenger, in my opinion. And then we have the Inward Lamp as well. So we had a bunch of new weapons that were introduced in Year 2 of Destiny 1. Now moving forward, we have uh, Year 3. And we've got the Blind Perdition. Legendary Pulse Rifle. Oh yes, I remember that. That thing was awesome. We have the Burning Eye Scout Rifle. The Exile Student. Anyone remember these guns? Oh, so many guns that could be reprised back into Destiny 2. I mean, of course, I want some new stuff. Of course, these are going to have new perks on them. They're going to feel like new weapons, even though they are D1 weapons. The, the model, the image might be resemblance of D1. This is going to feel like a new weapon. If the Vision Stone was brought into D2, or if the Exile Student, that would feel like a new weapon. It's been so long, I can hardly even remember exactly what these weapons were like. Moving on past this, there's a bunch of other weapons that we can go over. We have the Stellar Vestige Fusion Rifle. We have the Unraveling Thread Shotgun. That would be crazy. Then along with that, we have the Winged Word Sniper, which has not been brought back yet. Not to mention, there's still weapons that were literally earlier in Trials of Osiris in D2, that have just disappeared, like the Summoner. Where's the Summoner at? I don't understand why we're on a rotation of six weapons over the course of six months 
when the summoner is an option to just randomly pull out at any point in time. It is literally in the game already. You don't even have to bring this from D1 over to D2. Like, I'm not going to pretend like I understand how game development works. I'm not trying to go on some crazy rant, but literally I can't imagine it's much more than click a button and the summoner is suddenly in the Trials of Osiris loot pool because it's it's literally in the game right now. Like, you can go use it. The Astral Horizon has disappeared. I mean, even like the the Scholar, you know, in D2 is, is a weapon that's here. And there's several other weapons that are just currently unobtainable right now or don't have adept versions uh, currently in the loot pool. So my question to you is, do you feel like Trials is losing its population? Do you feel like Bungie is shitting the bed once again with Trials due to the lack of loot? That is my opinion. Again, 750,000 during the Trials revamp. Of course, things are going to be really hyped, really excited. But to see things dwindle all the way down to around, we're around the 200,000s now. Uh, it's a significant loss. And I really hope that we don't lose out even more on Trials because I like, I like Trials playoffs. I play it a ton. But lately, I have been so uninterested in the loot. I have a god roll or a near god roll of every one of those six weapons that's available at the Lighthouse. So I have truly no urge, no interest to play at all. And I haven't had an urge to play for any of the loot for like, I don't even know, two months now? So this is going on for a long time for me. And I understand it's extended season, etc. But I can't help but feel like Bungie's magic to their Trials revamp needs to be more incentivized loot, needs to have either reprised loot or more weaponry available, especially if you're going to have trials for, let's say a season is 12 weeks, right? Well, having 12 weapons or having something to do every single week, something new to chase for would be significantly more exciting. And even if you're not going to bring back those new weapons, something that I've posed many times before and things that they did with like the Eye of Soul, for example, is they changed around the weaponry of the Eye of Soul. I'm going to bring this image back up here while we wait. Uh, they changed around the the perk selection of the Eye of Soul. It used to get snapshot opening shot. Now your best role is maybe moving target snapshot. There's a few different roles you could go with. But it doesn't have the snapshot opening shot role, which was the desired role. Now it would be really cool if the weapons or the perk pools for these weapons could actually shift within the same season. Like for example, if the old Eye of Soul could come back with snapshot opening shot, that would be really cool. Or maybe it could have some sort of new perk combination, something that we haven't seen before. Maybe it could have the Eye of Soul with a uh, quick draw snapshot, you know? Or maybe there's so many other perk combinations, right? You could have, you could name name a few in the comments below. It would be really exciting perk combinations for any of these weapons, right? For the Fusion, for the Messenger, for the Shire's Wrath, for the Reed's Regret. There's so many. If the perks could just shift a little bit from week to week or from the start of the season to the end of season... That alone would be enough to be like, wow, cool. Doing Trials week one of the new season is just as exciting as doing Trials week 12 of the new season. And I know my experience is probably a little bit different than a lot of people out there because I play Trials like religiously because I, I really like the PvP in Destiny 2 and I like doing Trials carries as you all know by now. But uh, even still, I feel like I should have some even tiny, small incentive to play Trials more so than I do right now because I have zero interest in it right now. And it's a bit frustrating. And I, I'm watching the player base dwindle and I'm watching the playlist go back to becoming a dead playlist, in my opinion. But let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below. Make sure to subscribe with notifications on if you want to stay up to date on all things Destiny 2. Smash like button. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Later.